Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Orico. This is their model number IG740 Pro, industry grade, PCIe 4.0 NVMe SSD. Now this is the 2 terabyte model, and they have models that go from 512 gigabytes all the way up to 4 terabytes, and a read speed of up to 74 100 megabytes per second. We're going to dig into this now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so there's everything that we get once we get it out of the box. I'll have some of the specifications up on the screen for you so you can come back and check these at any time. Uh, now it's got its working environment temperature. Uh, your size is a 2280 up to 7400 megabytes per second. It comes in uh, 512 gigabytes all the way up to 4 terabytes. It is an M key uh, and you can see some of the extras there as well. There is a 5 year warranty or up to 1200 terabytes written whichever comes first. Now we get a little a booklet here. Uh, this just shows you how to put on the included aluminum shroud uh, so that you can uh, have heat dissipation here. There's a uh, silicone film that goes in between the aluminum heat sink and it's pretty easy to install uh, so you don't have any problems here. We do have our aluminum heat sink and we also have our thermal pad as well. There are blue uh, tape on the bottom of this uh, actual aluminum shroud. You're going to want to remove that. Uh, so you do want to remove that. And you also want to remove the plastic here as well that covers uh, the thermal compound. And then you'll put it in just like that. And the drive uh, will fit right into the shroud and you will have uh, some night heat, uh, heat dissipation there for this drive. It also comes with a graphene sticker as well, which also aids in heat dissipation. So don't remove that. Uh, if you want to get the most uh, thermal protection, leave that on as well. Another little bonus is they do give us a mounting screw here. So if you don't have one, on your motherboard, they do supply the mounting screw for this, uh, which is nice. It's a nice extra to have. Some manufacturers don't include mounting screws, and they even include a screwdriver as well, which again is a nice little extra that you'll get with this. Uh, so nice little extras that Orico has thrown in with this drive. Now installing the shroud is super simple here. You're just going to want to make sure uh, that you remove all plastic pieces and make sure that you remove the blue tape from the inside of the uh, thermal shroud and the aluminum shroud there. And then what will happen is that this will just kind of uh, just uh, be adhered to the top. If you do have any extra, you can trim it off there. Uh, you shouldn't have much more than what you see here. But again, super easy to install the aluminum shroud. Now for installation, you're just going to want to locate the M.2 uh, SSD slot on your motherboard. It's going to be marked by M.2. Uh, you can see that the a notch is facing towards me, and you can see that it is also facing towards me here. Uh, and you're going to want to insert this at a 45 degree angle uh, so that you can get it uh, slotted in. Uh, and this is just for people that have never really installed an NVMe or an M.2 two drive before. Uh, you can see now it's kind of spring loaded. Uh, on my standoff here on this particular motherboard, I already have a screw, but you can use the screw that was included. You can also, of course, use the screwdriver that they gave us as well. So let's see if I can do this behind the camera and we'll get this unscrewed. Uh, all you have to do is then uh, slightly push it down and then just attach the screw back where it came from to secure the drive. So this is not a uh, hard thing to do. But again, I did want to show the installation uh, just so uh, people that have never really done an installation on an M.2 or an NVMe drive uh, can get a quick idea of how easy this is to do. So now your drive is secured and we are ready to do some speed tests on this. So let's check that out. 
Now, when you first boot up your PC, you may have to go into disk management uh, to initialize the drive. Again, something uh, sometimes people don't realize they have to do. You can see that this is disk number three in my system currently, and it's unallocated. We're just gonna right click on this, and we're gonna do a new simple volume, hit next, and then next again and we're going to assign a drive letter, whatever we would like to. In this case, I'm just gonna leave it as drive F. Uh, you can make it any letter that you would like. Uh, NTFS, and we're gonna name the volume Orico uh, because that's the name of the drive. Uh, so we can uh, easily identify the drive at a glance. Then we hit next again, and it will automatically format that drive and appear in your list of drives now. Okay, so I've got two applications here, Crystal Disk Mark and Crystal Disk Info. You can see that the, my F drive is sitting here uh, and it is idling at 39 degrees Celsius. Again, this is an industrial drive, so it's meant to take higher temperatures than consumer uh, M.2 SSDs. Uh, so it, you can uh, actually use this for like AI and industrial applications uh, as well. Uh, taking a look at Crystal Disk Mark here, we're gonna make sure that this is set for uh, NVMe. We're gonna select our F drive and we're gonna run our tests here to see what kind of speeds uh, we're getting, uh, whether they'll be close to the advertised speeds or not. Uh, so I'm going to uh, fast forward through this real quick so you don't have to watch the entire test, uh, but we'll discuss speeds in just a moment. Okay, so let's take a look. Now they advertise up to 7,450 megabytes per second. I got almost 7,100 megabytes per second uh, and write speeds of up to uh, 6,500 megabytes per second. And we're pretty much right at that write speed, advertise speed. Uh, overall, I'd say these are a very uh, good and solid fast results for this drive. This drive is extremely fast uh, and does a, a very good job. Now, if you're going to be using this, it's an industrial grade uh, SSD. So if you're gonna be using this for uh, you know a large language models, AI work, uh, things like that, you can uh, definitely do that with this drive. Uh, and again, the speeds are definitely fast on this drive. Uh, it's going to do fine for high-end gaming. It's gonna do fine for content creation. Uh, there are just several uses that this drive will fit. Okay, so there you go. That's my review of the Orico IG740 Pro industry grade NVMe SSD. This drive in our speed test is super fast. Uh, this will work great for anything from a PS5 upgrade uh, to uh, just uh, a gaming upgrade in general in your PC. And working with industry type things like large language models and AI as well, uh, this drive should be able to handle all of that with no issues. Overall, I was impressed, and I'm definitely going to give this a thumbs up. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. I hope you enjoyed my review, and I'll check you guys out on the next one.